Hello, this is the channel plays Pokemon Blue. We are at the Seafoam Islands. We are going to get to fight the first of legendary Pokemon in this game, the Bird of Ice, Articuno, my own personal favorite Pokemon. We ended last video by pushing this boulder down the hole. Let's go down to it. So I need to push these two boulders down as well. And as always, new level means you need to use your HMs again. Now we could go down that one too, but that won't be a smart choice. Because down there will be water. Now we have to go way all the way back up to the top. So we can get access to the boulder on the other side. That one we need to get access to in order to move the boulder down. Because in the bottom of uh, the Sea from Islands, there's a current. And that means bad things for us when we try to reach our Kuno. Repel goes off. So we need to use a new one. So the legendary Pokemon Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres, we won the fight. I wanna try to capture it too, but if I don't f capture it, no problem. I won't be bothered. I'm not trying to collect all Pokemon here or anything. It would be nice to have a home team, but we can manage without. Now we're going to move this one. Now let's go down. So we are in the sea. Now, if these two boulders will not have been here, we will have been pushed away in the current. We will be sending us basically outside of Sea from Island. I want you to push these boulders. Once you push them all down, you can advance to the next step of the game. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're actually going to do this by going up here. Because there's another current on the other side that we want to get rid of. So how did we get rid of the other current? Well, more boulders! As you can see, there are four boulders here. And obviously, you can only move boulders up, down, left and right. And you can move them away from a side. So, for example, this one and this one can't really be moved into holes. But we can move the other ones first. So, to solve this puzzle, we need to move the other boulders. Move this one to the side. And move this one straight down. That's one boulder. Well, two, we need to push this one directly up. Then push this one down. Push it left twice. We go around it completely and pushing it from the north down. And that's it. Now we just jump in the hole. And there's no current here. We're safe. And now for our great prize. Go up from here. And there it is. Look brown here, but don't let the brown color fool you. That's just of what the game the super game by graphics are. So with that in mind, let's check what we have. Jolton is ready. Are you guys ready? Our first of four legendary Pokemon to fight in Pokemon Blue. It is time. Against the icy legendary bird, Articuno. And as I said, I will try to capture it, but if I fail, no worries. Look how majestic Articuno is in this game. Articuno is also very strong in this game, one of the strongest Pokemon in Generation 1. Sadly though, it got quite a hit of moves and nerves in later games, now it's kind of weak. I start off with just a simple Thunder Shock, because I know that Arcano is higher level than me. Actually, I'll start with Thunder Wave, just to be sure. Being a Paralyze is very important for us. Ice Beam. That one is critical. Look how much damage it did. Now we do the Thunder Shock. Okay, that's fine damage. We do another Thunder Shock. We want to get it to the red level without taking it out. Critical hit. Okay, one more Thunder Shock. Yeah, that's good. Another Ice Beam. This can be problematic for us. Yeah, it takes us down. Arcuno is a lot higher level than us, but that's fine. 
Okay, let's use Blastoise for this, because Blastoise is strong against ice, so this means that Blastoise can survive. Now comes the... One of the biggest moments that you always do in games. Toss out the balls. There we go. Ultra Ball, try number one. Aha, it missed! Try again. Missed again. Wow! Over a hundred damage! Over a hundred damage... ...on that one. Damn. Keep on trying. Missed the Pokemon again. Just have to keep trying. Even its peck is deadly. Let's just switch out to. Uh, this is gonna be a bit bad because that's that is weak against ice. But I'm just doing this to uh, use the uh, Max Revive on Blastoise. It's gonna one shot it. Switch back to Blastoise again. Ultra Ball, go. Missed. Let's see how much damage it does. It's pretty harsh. Oh! Oh, we did it! We did it! Articuno was caught! And this means I'll instantly use Articuno on my team, for sure. Articuno will be crucial in the Pokémon League. A legendary bird Pokémon that is said to appear to doom people who are lost in icy mountains. We did it, guys! Articuno is ours! Articuno joins the team! Wow, so first legendary fought, first legendary caught. We have yet to beat him down completely because we don't need to. Why beat them when they can join us instead? So you see, fighting the legendary Pokémon is a damn pain. You see how much damage Articuno does with the Ice Beam? It almost took me out with a Water Pokémon. Blastoise is almost one shot by Ice Beam when it's strong against Ice. Wow. So, we are done in Sea Farm Island. This was basically it. We got our prize, Articuno. Let's get out of here. And the problem is that we don't have a way to get out. First, I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna revive Jolteon because Jolteon needs to be my leading Pokemon when I use a Repel. Oh, that felt good. We capture Articuno. Articuno joins the team, and Articuno will be used for sure. This means I might be benching uh, Pidgeot. Because Articuno can learn fly as well. Articuno has lower attack than Pidgeot, but being ice type is so damn important. I have Ice Beam on Blastoise, which means he can fight uh, Dragon types too, but Articuno is my choice. Articuno has higher special than Blastoise, and is an ice type, which means it'll rock Dragon types. It'll destroy dra Dragon Pokemon, which will be crucial for us. I'm going a bit backwards now, but that's fine. So we need to go up here, I think we need to go. We have to backtrack now, because I don't have an escape rope, and I don't have any escape items either. 
Well, that felt good to get Articuno on the team. We'll, we'll get him in, and Pidgeot will sadly be taken out. It's just that Pidgeot is nice, but I really want to have uh, a nice type. Now, we're actually going to do a little cool thing. We're going to fight more trainers. Because now we've gotten to the other side of Sea of Marlin. If we go west now, we'll head to Cinnabar Island, and we can might as well just do that. There are some trainers here to fight as well. Let's see, do we have any Pokemon that needs to be healed up? Mm. Yeah, might as well. Heal up. Well, Jolt. We can heal Blastoise, that's fine. Not required, but not gonna use him, but... Jolteon and Hitmonlee will be used now. As we head west to Cinnabar Island. Fighting some trainers on the way. After we've done that, we're gonna head to the power plant and get ourselves our second legendary Pokemon, or at least try, Zapdos. So, let's get surfing! Let's see, I'll switch now Hitmonlee back on my team again. So get some XP. Are you in vacation too? Sort of. What about you? Oh, you just said you were on vacation, that's kind of a dumb question. She has a tentacle. That's fine. Only really likes it. Even though they're effective, tentacle has low defense, so one double kick takes it to less than half health. Lee is pretty low special. He will take a lot of damage from these attacks. That's why tentacle. I mean, Hitmonlee is more of a glass cannon. Give it. Fight him against a psychic Pokemon, and Hitmonlee will be fried. Level 32. Filling us way up to the other pe others in the team. Yeah, we can take on Horsey. I'm confident. Almost. Bubble. Won't scare us, but I oh, mean, good luck. Bubble has a high chance of reducing speed. I think it should make it critical because if you outspeeding a Pokemon, but it speeds you out from using um, bubble, then it's problematic. Seal! Yeah, we have a seal Pokemon as well in Generation 1. And it has a pretty cool evolvement as well, called uh, Dugong. Dugong as well as uh, Shelter is for Cloyster. Dugong is dual type water and ice. We beat the junior trainer, female. No mercy at all! Sorry. That's just life. Check out my buff physic. Yeah, show me that, Mr. Swimmer. Do you have to show us? He has a star, you. So, good thing about fighting Staryu is that Staryu is a water type, while its evolutional form, Star Me, is a dual type water and psychic. He increases defense, but I take it down in one hit. And we beat the swimmer pretty fast. Wimpy! I should have been buffing up my Pokemon, not me! Finally, if someone gets the point, being a gym is just worthless, in my opinion. I swam here from Cinnabar Island! Cool. Let's have a battle then, Missy. The trainer female. Goldeen. Be careful here because the one peck and we probably will go down. But I'm confident. Wow. We take down Goldeen. With some luck. Next thing to confuse a Seeking. I think I will switch. One pack from Seeking will probably be enough to take me out, so I'll switch out to Jolteon. Jolteon is in. We will just gonna fight for sure and we use a Thunderbolt. And down it goes. We the Junior Trainer female. I'm so disappointed! Pokemon have taken our abandoned mansion of Cinnabar. 
You know, we were there earlier. Let's take this trainer as well. Cinnabar in the West has a lab for Pokémon! I know, we've been there and we got two new Pokémon from using our fossils. Beauty. What do you have for store? Poliwag. It really likes Poliwag because Poliwag has low defense, so that fits us pretty well. Is it enough? Yeah, it is! One shot! Level 33 for Hitmonlee. And now we got to the rolling kick. Now we're talking some power here. But I won't do that against Siki, no way. Siki is too strong for me, so I will just switch him out with Jolteon, just to be sure. Let's just fry this one. Quick and easy. Super effective. Level 42 with Jolteon. And then double kick. Yes, yeah, the same move that Hitman Lee has. Might as well just learn it. Uh, don't need the quick attack. I mean, we don't really need quick attack as a Jolteon because we're fast from before, so. Not really needed. We'll just take the double kick. Wait! Wait, wait, what? Cinnabar is a volcanic island! Is it? I didn't see any volcanoes on Cinnabar. Doesn't mean it's not volcanic though. I mean, Cinnabar island might have a volcano below itself. You'll actually know more about it in Generation 2. I won't say more than that. Let's just heal our Pokémon to full health. There we go. Oh yeah, one thing I, of course, forgot. Let's get our prized bird out. Articuno, we need you. For our next challenge. That means Pidgeot, thank you for your service. Rest well. Articuno, welcome. I need to be a bit careful here because I will probably try to use Articuno against Zapdos, maybe I shouldn't. I should start Jolteon on, Art on Zapdos to try to paralyze it. And then I'll take Articuno to take it down in damage, but I have to be careful. One ice beam can take out Zapdos. If I faint Zapdos, it's gonna be problematic for us. Before we head out, we need to restock on Pokeballs. We always have a lot of Pokeballs for fighting legendaries. No one to take any risks here. We have money for it, she's gonna buy another 20 balls. Let's buy some high proportions too. Can't, can't afford it. Extra pals are always nice to have. Let's have an escape rope this time. You really need an escape rope for last time because we instead just went to Cinnabar Island instead. <laughs> and we're gonna fly to a place we've been before. Before that, let's just check the stats of our Q now. 139 special, that's lovely. 163 health is also very much. That means our Q will have worth 300 health at level 100, that's pretty good. Only has two moves to peck an ice beam, but uh, don't worry though. Level 51, Arcino will already learn a new move. Now, of course, I have to go back to the computer again, because I put in TM02 in the uh, PC. We need that one to be able to fly away from here. So let's get TM02 out. HM02, oh, actually. You can deposit HM03, don't need Surf, and don't need Strength. <laughs> now let's use HM02, if I can take it out, there we go. And give that to Articuno. Now I have a good flying move, I have a good ice move, that's exactly what I need on Articuno. Just deposit HM02 again because I don't think I'll be ever needing it again. 
If I get Zapdos, I'll still keep using uh, Jolton, because Jolton is faster. I don't really like the uh, flying weakness that Zapdos has as well. Let's see now. Yeah, this is pretty good. So, we are done with Sea from Ireland. One legendary fought, three more to go. But for now, we only have one more to go for this time. So I'll fly this Ruin City and I'll end this part. So there we go. We are done with Sea from Ireland. That means this part will be ending. Next time, we'll be going to the power plant and fight Zapdos. Hopefully, we'll also capture Zapdos to add that to our collection. But again, I will repeat myself, if we don't capture it, no big deal. We don't need it, I'm mainly going to fight it, capturing it is just a bonus. If you have any feedback on my Let's Play or want to discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. I'd like to talk to you guys. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See that down there? Hit it. But I just want to say uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.